So in this video, we're just going to be talking about Ireland's future, and I am really, really happy to see these players come through. Do you want a God Squad at FIFA 20? Well, look no further than u7buy.com. Use the code BROOKSY at checkout for 5% off your account, player, and coin purchases. Have a nice day. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooksy HD. Today, we're doing a very different video to what I would usually do on this channel, but it's something I am super, super passionate about. If you've watched any of my videos, and you, you know, you see the big Ireland flag in the back, you know that I'm very, very passionate about my country, about how football is doing in Ireland. And this video is not going to talk at all about the FAI and all that kind of stuff, because we all know that's an absolute shambles. It doesn't need to be said. It does need to be said, and they all need to be held accountable, but that's for another video. So in this video, we're just going to be talking about Ireland's future, primarily, because I am super excited for the first time in about 10, 15 years, we actually have a crop of players that we could turn into something special, and I am really, really happy to see these players come through. We're also going to be working with a very, very good Twitter account. It's called Kenny's Kids, is what the Twitter account is called. There's a link in the description to his Instagram, Facebook, and his Twitter. I highly, highly recommend if you have any interest in following the youth coming up through Ireland. He covers everything, and I mean literally everything, like 15-year-olds playing in in the under like 15s in ireland he'll, he'll cover that kind of thing he's helped me put together a top 11 pretty much of players of the young prospects coming through i'll give my take on it as well but we'll show you his take uh he is definitely more qualified than me you know to tell you this but uh i'm gonna make the video so links to his social medias please go follow him tell him brooksy sent you right so like i said we're gonna be going to kenny's kids his 11 pretty much of what he thinks will be the you know, the most promising Irish players coming through at the moment. The first two, 11th and 10th, uh, they're not in FIFA, so I can't show you on FIFA. So, I've swapped them around for players that I know are going to be good, I think, anyways. I hope so, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, Kenny put off as number 11 on this list, Nathan Collins, who plays for Stoke. Doesn't have a card on FIFA, so I've put in Zachary Elbuzedi, who was signed for Lincoln in real life. I've been quite excited for this guy for quite a long time. He went to England, played in Scotland for a while, if I'm not mistaken, and then came back to Waterford. Done really, really well, playing for the under-21s in Ireland. He's always starting for them as well, so he must have some pedigree about him. I'm really looking forward to see what he can do in Lincoln. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be good. I really hope he's a success, because... You know, we could do some more wingers. Next on the list, he put Lee O'Connor, who I would definitely agree with him. I think he has a fantastic future. But once again, he plays for Celtic. He's not on this game. So I put in Mark Travers. A few of you might have heard of this guy before. He's been playing for Bournemouth. Um, not as much as he should do, but he is definitely a good goalkeeper for the future. I could have gone for Kelleher here, but I put Mark Travers just because he's younger. And I think he's actually played for Ireland. I could be wrong, but I think he has. He's a decent goalkeeper from what I've seen anyways. Now, before I get on to showing you his players that he's put in this list, a very prevalent app you should be downloading is the One Football app. Link is in the description. You can download all of the teams that these teams play for, uh, that these players play for. Sorry. So, for example, if you want to follow Zachary Elbuzedi and you want to follow Lincoln, you can. The link is in the description to One Football. Download it for free. You can follow the whole Ireland team. You can follow the under 21s if you want. Do whatever you need to do. Links in the description for free. It's such a sick app. Okay, so moving back on now, we've got Luca Connell, who I nearly put in the full ginger team, but I didn't. Uh, he is. How old is he? 18? He's not even 18 yet. So he's playing for Celtic. Don't know if he's actually played for Celtic. I remember him playing for Bolton last year, though. But obviously, Bolton had their financial issues. So it was a bit of a yikes for him last season. He went on a free transfer to uh, to Celtic. They probably had to pay some compensation for that. Because, you know, free transfers and under 23s, you have to. At number eight, then, is Michael Obafemi. Uh, if you asked me this last year, he would have been number one. Being brutally honest. But he has had a lot of game time for a young player in the Premier League. Um, he's still only 19. Uh, is, is he even 19? I don't even think he is. He is, like, he has the potential. He hasn't really done much. Bar that goal against Chelsea. I'll give him that. He scored one goal last season in the Premier League. And now he scored one in this season as well. From what I can see, he's very one-dimensional. So, if he starts running, he can't, you know, dribble past the player. I could be proven wrong. I really hope I am. But from what I've seen so far, once again, this is just all my opinion. Just want to clarify that. Um, he... He, you know, he can run straight, he can run fairly fast, he's a he's a strong lad as well, um, but does he have that little bit of finesse at the moment? That goal against Chelsea show, showed that he could do in the future, but for right now, I don't think he's right, you know, up there, but 
That's just me. And number seven is Jason Knight. Now, I know for a fact that this guy scored two goals for Derby in a game recently, and he won them the game pretty much. I haven't seen much of this guy play out. Obviously, I've seen the highlights of the two goals he scored. And decent goals. Can't really say much else about them. And he looks like he could... You know, he played alongside Wayne Rooney. If you're looking for a mentor, Wayne Rooney is definitely a good mentor to have. Really, really promising player for the future. Once again, another midfielder, which was what we need. We do have a few midfielders that are like 21, 22, like Josh Cullen, for example. Even players like Liam Kelly, a bit, bit older, that could potentially have a bit about them. But I think Zach Knight, or sorry, Zach Knight, he's a he's an old player. Jason Knight is one for the future. Now, speaking of midfielders, Jason Malumbi, I was watching this guy playing for the under-21s in, I think it was the Euros. He is quality. Like, he has a bit about him. And if he can get proper game time at Millwall, he can go back to Brighton, I think it's, it is where he's from, get some game time in there, that'll do him the world of good. This guy has serious potential. And that is why he's sixth on this list. Dara O'Shea is the next one. What's that, number five now? Dara O'Shea is, it, it troubles me a little bit. He's a fantastic centre back and he deserves to be here, but he is one of the only centre backs that we have coming through. And he looks like exactly like someone I, I used to know, which really puts me off. Uh, he, and his name was Dara as well, but who cares? It doesn't really matter. He, 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 I think he only really made his first team debut, his first start, and a clean sheet, I think it was, for West Brom uh, about a week ago. So if he can keep getting game time for West Brom, who could even get promoted from the championship, that's sick. Now, the top four places for me personally, I would change a few of them around. Once again, this is, this is Kenny's kid's opinion. Um, I would personally change him around a little bit. Aaron Connolly is fourth on this list. And Aaron Connolly has actually scored goals in the Premier League, quite a few of them. He scored two against Spurs in the Premier League. Yes, Spurs were really bad at the time, but it doesn't matter. It's still against, like, Jan Vertonghen, Davinson Sanchez, Alderweireld, whoever they had playing at the time. He still scored against them, which is incredible. I've seen this guy play for Ireland now quite a few times, and I can honestly say... He has a really, really good future. He just needs to keep playing, keep getting game time, keep learning from the players that he's playing with. And at Brighton, is there... I mean, yeah, I suppose uh, Glenn Murray is, like, the main one you can get any teachings off, any mentoring off. But even Neil Mope is a really, really good finisher. So maybe him and Aaron can, you know, link up, get some Tiger practice in or whatever, maybe help him score more. But he's really, really fast. 70 pace on his FIFA card is ridiculous. Uh, and I think this guy has a really good future. Now, Adam Ida. I've known about Adam Ida for about three years now. And that's saying something considering he is only 18. He's been talked about for a long time. He is, of all the players on this team, physically. And I mean, as a pure physical specimen, um, six foot three. Okay, I don't know whether that's completely correct. He could be six foot two, something like that. But... He played for Norwich against Preston in the FA Cup. Scored a hat-trick, which is why I would assume he's so high up on Kenny Kids' list. He's a talent. He's a little bit, you know, uh, he can skill past people. I've seen him do it, but I've also seen him try it and fail. Especially in the under-21s. Uh, I can't remember what game it was, but he, he tried off a few skills. Didn't really work. If he can hone that in, we need a player like that. We need a player that can men. And if he's six foot three, he can get big. He can get fast and he can score goals. And that's exactly what we need. Saying that though, we do have quite a few strikers coming through. Number two on Kenny Kids' list is Gavin Buzunu, who I remember watching um, at Shamrock Rovers. I went to a few games, Shamrock Rovers, before he signed for Manchester City. He had already signed for City, uh, I think, during a few of those games. But I wasn't at his debut game, but apparently on his debut game for Rovers, he played incredibly well. But I have seen him play quite a few times. He's a really, really good agile goalkeeper. Um, Six foot two is a bit small, but he, I, I, I'd say he's still going to grow a bit. I hope he does. Anyways, I haven't really seen much of him recently, obviously, because he hasn't played for City. But he has a future. He needs to go out on loan somewhere. I don't know where he's going to go out on loan. Or hope. Not hope, because that's not really nice. But, uh, you know, hope he can get some game time in City, maybe, in a cup competition next season, possibly. If Bravo retires or something like that, and then Grimshaw doesn't play for City. Then, big old Gavin, or small old Gavin, whatever, uh, can play for City. Now, number one, I think is fairly obvious. Number one on his list is Troy Parrott. I would somewhat agree with that, but at other points, I wouldn't. Haven't seen much of him play. Haven't seen him score for Spurs yet. I don't think he has scored for Spurs. He's got an assist for Ireland. It was against New Zealand, to be fair to him, but 
his stature is definitely not five foot nine, by the way. They've completely got this wrong. Um, once again, he's very much like Adam Ida, not as tall as Adam, but I know he's he can move. He's quite fast, really good finisher of the ball, can link play together, and he's playing at Spurs under Harry Kane. Would I say he's top of our prospects? Yes. Is he the closest to getting into the Ireland team as, as a full-timer? I'd say Aaron Connolly's just a little bit ahead of him. But he's definitely second, maybe third on this list. So this is basically the list. So but obviously, Zachary is 11th. Troy Parrott is first. You can work your way up through that. This is his list. It's a very, very good-looking list in terms of... I've seen pretty much all of these players play now. Um, and I haven't seen Bizan uh, sorry, Bizunu play for CE. I've seen him play for Rovers, obviously, but... The future's looking bright, boys. It really, really is. If we can nurture these players to become Premier League players, even championship players, as long as they're good for their prospective teams, whoever they play for, I'm excited, man. I really am. Um, the only issue is there's no wingers and there's no centre-backs. Or full-backs, actually. Defence is definitely lacking. Um, as you can see, there's only one centre-back on, on this. And there's a load of strikers we got Obafemi we got Connolly we got Ida and we got Troy Parrott now I know Ida can play on the right or the left um I think Luca can also play wide I'm fairly sure he can but I'm not sure about Parrott playing wide I'm not sure about Connolly playing wide he has the pace to do it definitely I'm definitely not sure about Mo uh, Michael Obafemi playing wide but this is basically the top 11 prospects in the country according to uh, um Kenny's kids obviously it was Nathan Collins here and Lee O'Connor for Travers, but I've put these two guys in because I think they are actually quite talented. Now, he's also given me a list of players that you probably won't even hear of for a couple of years if you're interested. Connor Noss is a German, okay, but he has played for Ireland under 19s. He plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach. He's not in the game, unfortunately, but uh, he's one to look out for. Now, he's given me a list of under 17 players. We got Joe Hodges City, Deji Sotona at United, Mipo Odubeko at West Ham. Um, he, he might declare for England. Tom Cannon at Everton. Anselmo Garcia McNulty. What a name that is for Wolfsburg. Oli O'Neill plays for Fulham. Ever Evan Ferguson is 15. Plays for Bohemians. And he's joining Brighton soon. Callum Cavanagh for Middlesbrough. Ben McCormick for St. Pat's. Sinclair Armstrong for Shamrock Rovers. Uh, Armstrong Oco Flex. What a name that is for Celtic. He's 17. Uh, we got Caden McLaughlin playing for Malaga. And we got Kevin Zeffi who plays for Rovers. Who I have actually heard of. Um, and there's some other Irish eligible players that might declare for us, but they play currently for other uh, teams. There's CJ Egan Riley, plays for City. Rory Delap for City as well. Louis Barry, who plays for Barcelona. Uh, we got Dennis Kirkin, plays for Tottenham. And Ryan Johansson, plays for Bayern Munich. Ryan Johansson is one of the ones that I know for a fact he can play for like three different teams, and I don't think actually he can legally play for Ireland at the moment. I um, hope that gets changed around because apparently he's quite good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my 11. Um, all of these players are pretty much going to be on this list. So give me two seconds. So this is my list of my personal uh, opinions of who is, you know, based on talent, who I think can make it the most out of all of our team. Uh, we got Bazunu in uh, goalkeeper at 11. Luke Connell, Zachary Elbuzedi, uh, Obafemi, Jason Knight. Dara O'Shea, Travers, Jason Malumbi, Adam Ida, Troy Parrott at number two, and Aaron Connolly at number one. I only have Connolly ahead of Troy Parrott by like, by a hair. Literally, it's so close between those two. I just know I've seen more of Connolly play. The hype around Parrott is unreal. Spurs media wants him to play. Uh, Mourinho has said it's probably too early for him to start playing now. They're probably going to play other people ahead of him, which is a shame because I think he can do it. I really do think he can. But uh, it's a shame. And that's why I've given Aaron Connolly the top on, on my list, personally. Just because I've seen him play. I've seen more of him play, pretty much, than anyone here. I've seen him play for Ireland and Brighton. And he's really, really good. He has the potential. It, once again, he he has that little nippy kind of Wes Hulahan vibe about him. He, uh, there is one player on this list that isn't here. That is, I think he's a bit older. Who I personally would put number one ahead of anyone. Jack Byrne. I cannot say how much of a good player I think this man is. Is he Premier League quality? I don't know. I'm not sure. He's been playing for Rovers. He went to Oldham for a few years, came back to Rovers to play, and he's done him the world of good, but this guy, I can't. 
when you compare the other midfielders that we have coming through, okay, we've got Luke O'Connell, we've got Jason Knight, we've got uh, Jason Malumbi, Josh Cullen, we've got Liam Kelly, we've got a few midfielders that are a bit, you know, are probably Jack Byrne's age that could probably play, but Jack Byrne is the closest thing to me personally to Wes Houlihan. Than that what we've had in so long. That wasn't very good English, but you know what I mean. 71 dribbling on this card is ridiculous. He should have way better dribbling than this. He has that low center of gravity. That little, you know, that, that eye for a pass that we just don't have. And I can't see any of these players having it. We have very industrious midfielders coming through. I would definitely believe that. We maybe have some goal, key, or goal scorer midfielders. But we don't have a midfielder like Jack Byrne coming through where he is the low center gravity you can spin on like you know can spin on a dime can turn around run the other way completely he, he might not be the fastest but he's got an eye for a pass and he's got the low center of gravity messi-esque i would dare say he's probably the closest thing ireland have to messi which is a very very big comparison but i truly believe that jack Byrne is the future of ireland if we can play him and if he can get a good deal i am a massive rovers fan i don't want him to leave rovers but for Ireland, who will become, they are ahead of any team I support. Be it Chelsea, be it, you know, Rovers, whoever it is. Ireland is always above. Ireland is my main priority and always will be. And I just hope Jack Byrne, for our sake, can get, a, you know, a move to a place where he's going to play. He's going to get good football under his, you know, under his skin. And he's going to play with a decent team that can actually use what he has. So, for example, get a lot of assists. That's what we need in this team. We also need fullbacks and a couple of centre backs, which would really help. And maybe some wide players. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section down below. It's been a bit of a long video and I hope, you know, you've watched it all. If you don't, that's totally okay with you. Once again, please, please, please go and follow Kenny's Kids. Absolutely fantastic Twitter account. If you want to keep up to date with all the young Irish players coming through, you, you know, he, he's really, really good at his what he does so i would definitely recommend you go and follow him thank you very much for watching um if you want to see more ireland videos talking about you know potential teams we could have in like five years or something like that tell me in the comment section down below and i will do that for you or maybe my my top my if i could pick the ireland team right now the team i would pick like that kind of thing uh tell me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video boys have a wonderful day please like the video if you enjoyed and i'll see you then bye